Hi everyone, thought I'd switch it up a bit this time. I'm sitting on the floor. Wow, that's exciting. And you can see all the marks on my walls from when I throw my drumsticks and it hits the wall. So that's content for you. <laughs> Also, yeah, I was outside at the weekend, got the sun a little bit. This is this is my face now. I'm doing a Q&A today. Woo! Exciting! Who doesn't love a Q&A? I put a post out on my Instagram asking for questions and I had over 700 comments. Obviously, I'm not going to answer them all because we will literally be here for hours. First question. What was the first song you learned to play? The first song I learned to play was Schools Out by Alice Cooper. Cold pizza or warm pizza. Warm pizza, although I'll happily eat cold pizza too. I'll just eat any kind of pizza unless it's frozen. I feel like frozen pizza might not be that great. Burnt pizza too. So actually maybe I am quite fussy about my pizza. Why don't you consider changing your setup? So if you've been watching my covers for a while you will notice I've hardly changed my setup in a very long time and honestly I don't feel the need to. For what I'm doing now, doing covers and things in here, it does a job fine. Have you ever been to another country in Europe? I have been to France, Finland and Spain. How long did it take for you to feel confident about your drumming? A while. I would still say I've got a long way to go. I'm not actually that confident when it comes to drumming, even though I might look like it. But yeah, put me in a room with other musicians and other drummers. I will have zero confidence. Do you love Spider-Man? Who doesn't love Spider-Man? How do you choose the songs for your covers? I either choose songs that I like, I choose songs that have interesting drum parts that I want to learn, or I choose songs that you will request. How are you so cool? <laughs> I'm really not as cool as you think I am. I'm actually really kind of lame. When did you start doing YouTube? I started properly uploading covers in July 2013. Are you really 22? Yeah. Unfortunately, yeah, I am 22. What do you think of Petals for Armour? You mean this Petals for Armour? <laughs> I love it. I love it. It's one of my favourite albums at the moment. I think my favourite songs on there are Dead Horse, Why We Ever and Crystal Clear. But also all the other songs too. They're all just... Oh, she's still in shot. Hayley, get out. Maybe we'll keep... No, let's get her out. The whole album is so good. I love it. There may be... Maybe... There may be a Hayley Williams cover soon. Just saying. Are you a natural redhead? Yes. This hair... All of, all of it is natural. Would you ever dye your hair? I mean, I'd never say never. I have thought about it before, but people always tell me like, because I don't really do anything with it, it's in good condition, I think. I don't know, I'm not a hairdresser. So I feel like I shouldn't dye it because I don't want to ruin it. But as I said, never say never. If I did dye it, what color should it be? Green, purple, pink. <laughs> do you sell merch? There will be some merch soon. I might even have some merch in this room right now that I'm not showing you. Any drummer of any band you have covered has seen your covers? I was actually really intrigued by this question. So earlier, before I started filming this, I just did a quick scroll through my YouTube and my Instagram and made a list of people that have seen my covers. By the way, I'm not trying to show off or name drop or anything. I'm just answering the question. <laughs> I'm gonna have to look down. I've got my laptop on my knee. I'm not just like looking at the floor. Walk off the earth, Yannicka Ashton from Five Seconds of Summer, Jose, Jose, from Incubus, Girl in Red, Gabriella B slash the AB family, Andrew who plays drums for Billie Eilish, Olaf McFly, except Doggy, Matt McGuire, Casey Cooper, Cobus, Isla, is that how you say her name? Ayla? I don't know. Um, from Calpurnia, Scott Hellman, The Ninth Wave, Tilly, Death from the Struts, Rob from We Are The In Crowd, if anyone remembers them, and my personal favourite ones, Alex, Jesse, Quazim and David from the Naked Brothers Band. You know, the Nickelodeon show from like a, a long time ago. Also the reason why I started drumming, Alex Wolf. Yeah, I think that's everyone. Kind of just crazy when you think about it. Like my four favourite bands, I would say A Walk Off The Earth, McFly, Yonaka and Paramore, and three out of four of them have noticed me. Just waiting for Paramore, really. <laughs> 
Is that line on the wall really annoying? I feel like it probably is. Next question. Have you ever felt frustrated recording a song? Yes, definitely. A million percent. Covers don't always work out the way you want them to. Sometimes it can take a while to get a good take or at least a take you're happy with. And some days it's that bad that you just have to admit defeat and be like, okay, I'll just try again another day. You can't get everything right all the time. I have definitely been frustrated at points. <laughs> Do you have a girlfriend or a boyfriend? No. Ever played rock band or Guitar Hero? Yeah, I used to be obsessed with Guitar Hero. I first got Guitar Hero 3 and then I think I probably got every Guitar Hero since then. I even had DJ Hero for a bit when that was a thing. I never really got that into rock band though. Weirdly, I prefer playing those games on guitar than I do on drums. I think it's because I can play drums but I can't really play guitar. I don't know. Weird. Can you do another Arctic Monkeys song? Yeah, I'm getting so many Arctic Monkeys requests lately. There's one particular song that is being requested more than others. I feel like you could probably guess what it is. It starts with B. And all I'm going to say is maybe when I get to 500,000 subscribers, I'll do it then. Have you drank water today? Yes. <laughs> Have you? Water is important. When would you play some ukulele for us? How about now? That went well. Are you bisexual? Yep. How are you able to see your drum set with hair smacking your face and covering your eyes? I don't see my drum set most of the time. When I'm headbanging I actually have my eyes shut just because I don't know why actually. I guess maybe I find it easier when you have your eyes open and your hair's in your face, that's kind of annoying, so maybe I just... I don't know, my body just shuts my eyes. Also, it stops me getting dizzy. Now I'm going to answer some questions from my patrons. Link in the description if you want to sign up to my patron. TV slash Netflix series of the moment. I recently watched series 2 of Dead to Me, which came out at the weekend, I think. I enjoyed that. I also recently watched the Jeff Goldblum documentary thing on Disney+. Plus kind of random but also just kind of amazing too and also obviously Killing Eve one of my favourite shows recommend it how long does it take to get up to speed on a song before you start drumming it depends on the song depends how hard the drumming is sometimes I'll literally just run the song a few times and then record if it's just like a simple pop song but then if it's like a more complex song I could easily spend a few days on it yeah literally just depends on the song. If you had the choice to drum for any band in the world, what band would you choose? That's a good question. I feel like a lot of the bands that come to mind that I'm like, oh yeah, I really like that band and I really like playing to that music. I feel like I wouldn't want to drum for them because I'd want to be in the audience, like having a good time. Yeah, it'd be a different thing to be drumming for them. So I actually don't know. I'll have to think about that. Is a hot dog a sandwich? So when I first read this question, I was like, no, it's a hot dog. But then I was thinking about it and the sausage goes in the bread. Does that make it a sandwich? I don't know, my mind's kind of blown about that question. I, I feel like the an Whoa, can you see that piece of like fluff floating? Uh, I feel like the answer is no. I guess technically, <laughs> I mean, I don't know. It's a hot dog, it's a hot dog. Biggest dream outside of music, I guess, just having a life like where I'm happy and content and things. Whatever comes alongside that is a bonus, I guess. Roast chicken or roast beef? Well, I don't eat meat anymore, but if I did, I would probably say roast beef. Do you feel better using sneakers or feet when playing drums? Depends on the song, again. <laughs> uh, if it's just like a chill song where the bass drum's not that intense, then I'd probably play with no shoes. But if it's like fast bass drum work, then I'd probably play shoes, just because. Do you find it hard to develop left and right hand independence? That's constantly something I'm trying to work on. My left hand independence, not great. Toughest challenge or mental block to overcome? I guess just like having the belief that you're good or at least the confidence to think that you're good. Like growing up and things, I didn't have a lot of that and I missed out on a lot of things because of it. Kind of over it now, kind of got a very long way to go. And that is the end of the questions. Sorry if you asked one and I didn't answer it, like I said, I had a lot, but I'm going to make this a more regular thing. Maybe I'll do one Q&A a month or something. Let me know how you feel about that. You might not want that, you might hate that idea. <laughs> 
follow my socials and subscribe to my channel and all that stuff and yeah I also might do some more vlogs where I'm sat down kind of comfy and kind of makes it feel more like a chat comment below do you prefer when I stand up and you can see my room or do you like seeing me sitting on the floor and seeing this lovely beautiful blue wall anyway bye <laughs>